Most people in America are facing job insecurity during a time of pandemic or just a time in downturn of society when people are spending less and not earning more. What employees have to be reminded almost every day by a thoughtful, intelligent manager and a beginning morning meeting is what is expected in the store, what is needed to be sold, and any new product changes or any new things that are being brought in to the environment that might not have been there before because purchasing and negotiation processes at the corporation level have established that we're getting rid of a product but we're bringing in another product. So it's basically associate information time and data development time and feedback from associate time of what is and isn't going right in the sales process on behalf of those multi-million dollar contracts with the vendors and vendors possibly and the vended items within a store. What is and isn't selling well? What is coming back on a regular basis being returned? What is and isn't an okay way to handle someone? What questions do associates have by a unique situation of they were not sure what to do and you as a supervisor was not available and another associate knew even less than them. So we're not exactly talking about bad behavior. We can talk about lazy behavior, but what we do need to establish of, of what is and is not ever acceptable as an employee in the store. What we do know is a lot of corporations tend to have their managers validate their employees' feelings as opposed to their consumers' feelings and to protect the company by saying, you're not welcome here in our store, and that unfortunately is a federal law violation and that you do not have the right to discriminate against anyone in terms of the language that they might choose to use on any given day as a consumer in your store. If your employee is rude in their eyesight, their eye contact, their physical body language, their actual verbal use of the American language to a consumer, that's going to piss someone off. So you're going to have to talk to employees about what they should do when they're approached, how they should receive a guest, and openly what they should do if they're in the middle of doing something for someone else or if they're in the middle of doing something for the store and doing something within their job description. At the same time, they must be told immediately what is and is not acceptable on time of being paid as an employee in the hourly wage or the salary wage of a associate. We know that huge companies like Eli Lilly will often shut the computers down of their associates for a period of time, regardless of whether or not they're in the middle of a project or not, to require the employee to have better ergonomics and better human safety to their bodies and give a, their body a stretch to stand up, to visit the Louvre, whatever. So obviously you're going to tell employees how often, if they can, although you have to be careful because people have different body needs, of how to handle when they need to go to the bathroom, how they need to handle uh, what's going on, but more importantly how they may or may not use their cell phones when they're on the job. Most companies, most quality retail stores, like the company I worked for for a brief time while my father was transitioning to heaven and I had closed my personal business, which is how I had traditionally made a living all my life since I was pretty much age 15, with a few exceptions of living in a corporate situation of manufacturing and then working overseas or vice versa, however it was, I don't remember. But I'm not really important in this process. What I'm saying is it's just an example of that some employees come into a company from having different backgrounds and experiences that we have to address in terms of what is and isn't okay on the job. And therefore we have to make sure that if they came from a different place, they know the differences. At the same time, if they're new to working in general, we have to tell them, I'm sorry. Your cell phone, your social media accounts, your family, your friends are not the priority when you are here at the store. When you're on your break, you may, of course, access your messages. You may, of course, access things. But what we're going to ask you to do is go to the break room for your break. Or if you're a smoker, we're going to ask you to go out the back door. We don't want our associates lingering out front smoking.
because it misrepresents our brand. We also don't want them toking in the products or near the products that we vend because of how smoke can blow into the cardboard, the fabrics, or the item that we're selling in our store.